Hey everyone, if you remember our Eclipse pamphlet video, we are going to do all the websites on the very back of it for your viewing pleasure. So if you want to watch all of these websites, make sure to subscribe, like, and share and get this out there. This information is vital to your Eclipse viewing experience. And my baby doll would like to advertise something for you guys. What is it, baby? If you guys want to follow me on TikTok, I, I post uh, Eclipse videos. Every few days with information pertaining to the Eclipse. <laughs> it is TikTok bags or slacks. I don't know which one you type in, but just type in B-A-G-Z and you will see her profile right here. She will be posting more as the days come closer to the Eclipse. Let's get started on the Eclipse 2024 simulator and so much more. The top useful link on the Eclipse viewing pamphlet that we got from the Greenwood, Indiana library as we were driving through to get home. This website says, what does it say, baby, at the very top? Looking for great Eclipse apps. And we found a great app with lots of planning and real-time information about the Eclipse. Click on the banner below to go to a location where you can download it for yourself. So there's an app that'll show you the path of totality, probably a few simulations, and the time it's supposed to happen, a counter, and <clears throat> also the time that it's going to end in your specific area. Now let's go to the Eclipse Simulator near the bottom of the page, baby. And then we're going to do the 2024 one. And here is the map of the predicted path of totality. And Baby is going to type in Greenwood in the city search on the top right. Because we are close to the city. And this one? It should be, yep. It's got the Eclipse Simulator. And as you can see on the left, there's a zoom function. And there's also a zoom in and zoom out. And then if you zoom all the way out, you can see a little simulated field. If you're a farmer or if you're a hiker. And what else do they have, baby? They have a city one, a desert mountain, and then mountains, and much more. more. And pick your favorite one, and we'll get the uh, simulator. Ooh, country roads take me home. <laughs> now, if you're on the ground, you want to do the bottom one. It looks like the time. Yep. And then this is going to be the time that it happens and what it's going to look like, where the sun's going to be. Totality, as you can see on the map on the top right. And then it's gone for that specific location. And um, if you zoom in and go back on that, zoom in all the way. Yep. There we go. And then do the timer again. And bam. So it's not going to be very long. It's going to be around three to six minutes is what they're predicting. And then we will exit out of your TikTok link and that one and go back to our page with information. Go to simulation videos and then it should be the 2024. Yep. Because we can't go through all the website. We can only go <laughs> through part of it. And then hit the zoom button until we can see Indiana. And then scroll down. And we're going to find, I think, Beach Grove should be on here if you zoom in more. Okay, let's see. There's Bloomington, Edinburgh, Franklin. Number seven. Yep. There we go. Oh, there's Beach Grove, red little dot. And it says, <clears throat> location, Beach Grove, Indiana. The coordinates, the simulator, do the simulator. And I believe it actually had the, um, oh, it's the same dang thing. <laughs> Never mind, that must have been another one. Oh, well, exit out of that one. But that shows you the points of interest on this map. That's why we brought that up. 
And then next up would be, uh, did we do, yeah, that one, keep going. The state pages. Scroll down. And read those uh, states, baby. Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Maine, Michigan, Missouri, New Hampshire, New York, Ohio, Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, yep. <laughs> Tennessee, Texas, and Vermont. Also, Arkansas. Um, and Mexico's got all those. And here are all the other states that are going to get a partial or almost totality, but not for as long. You got <clears throat> Alabama. Alaska, Arizona, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, District of Columbia, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Iowa, Kansas, Louisiana, Maryland, Massachusetts, Minnesota, Mississippi, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Jersey, New Mexico, North Carolina, North Dakota, Oregon, Puerto Rico, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Utah, the Virgin Islands, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. <laughs> it's that song about 50 nifty United States now. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I got that song from. But yeah, so that's your information there. Pause it if you're in another country because we're not, we don't, we only care about America, the greatest nation on earth. Praise the Lord, the Second Amendment. All right, and then exit out of that. <laughs> and then we are going to do eclipse glasses. Um, there is eclipse safety, eclipse viewing instructions, how to watch the eclipse, eclipse web store, are your eclipse glasses safe, NASA certified. We want to look at the. Eclipse2024.org approved and scroll down and read that title. It's in bold at the very top. Right there. Yep. Right here? Yep. Tell them that website name all the way over. We're right here? Yep. AAS.org names Eclipse2024.org. <clears throat> An approved distributor of solar or safe solar glasses, Eclipse2024.org is an AAS approved vendor of ISO certified Eclipse glasses don't wait demand is growing and eclipse glasses are going to become hard to find i was there for the eclipse that happened years ago um i live streamed on livestream.ru and let me tell you when it was up to the last week and a half which we're already in the last eight days i couldn't find them anywhere except ebay and amazon people were selling them for 40 to 180 dollars the closest that it got so I never ended up getting a pair. I had to do a, a makeshift. And I actually did stupidly look up for about 10 seconds and it messed up my vision for half an hour. And then I had permanent effects <laughs> until I think I said a month and a half when I told you where like colors look different. But then my vision came, went back to normal. So do not try looking at it for longer than I think they said. They say never do it, but two to three seconds is the maximum without having damage or minimal damage to your eyes. So let's scroll down and read part of this, baby. Um, read that top paragraph right there at the very top on April 8, 2024. On April 8, 2024, millions of people across North America will see a total solar eclipse. It will be specta spectacular. Spectacular. And we, we'd like to remind you of... The importance of eye safety while watching any eclipse. The American Astronomical Society, the AAS, plays a crucial role in ensuring that viewers will have access to safe eclipse glasses through its approval program. With everyone in North America needing eclipse glasses for the upcoming total solar eclipse in 2024 and supplies of eclipse glasses running low, you have to plan ahead to get your eclipse glasses from a reputable source. And then read just that bold <clears throat> title. The AA approval program. And we will skip to only buy Eclipse glasses from organizations of the AAS's approved list like Eclipse2024.org. This will ensure that glasses meet the safety, the necessary safety standards. You will see ISO 12312-2 colon semicolon, one of those two, 2015 certification printed on the glasses. 
This standard ensures that the glasses are safe for solar viewing. It must be printed on the glasses, but remember, <laughs> anyone can print anything on the Eclipse glasses. So even if you have it printed on your glasses, you're going to go blind whether they're approved or not because they're not approved and you will never know it. Next uh, webpage. Exit out of that. <laughs> That's the important stuff. <laughs> and um, Eclipse Store... And we're going to look at some of these products that they are selling. But there's so many stores, as you can see, we can't show all of them. And um, this stuff looks like it's not even Eclipse related. Nope. <laughs> but show off some uh, linens. <laughs> Bottom left. There we go. This actually kind of looks Eclipse related. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> and then bring up... Um, yeah, this is like... <laughs> Where's the eclipse? <laughs> Where is it? Here's one. Click on that one, show them that big. Okay, and it takes us to a random, unrelated <laughs> store. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> yeah. This is just... Okay, hit back. And go to... Um... Uh, let's see. Go to drinking glasses. Oh, laptop accessories. They got covers? Never mind, not drinking glasses. Laptop covers. iPad skins. Oh, Canada's got Toler... To, to, I said Toler. Total Eclipse right there. Yep, click on that one. We can't find one that has anything that says Eclipse on it. Oh, except for that one. So that's their path of totality. Note that these websites may or may not have anything to do with the eclipse even if you click on it as you saw earlier what are you thought thoughts on that baby looks pretty cool now would you would you buy it for <clears throat> canada for your no <laughs> she's an american through and through she owns three ar-15s and 12 shotguns <laughs> she doesn't want nothing from justin trudeau totalitarian dictator canada <laughs> all right exit out of that and show them one more you pick a random one <laughs> on an iPad case as well and it has nothing to do with the Eclipse <laughs> there's some finally we found some Eclipse stuff it says like the word Eclipse on it there's a clock none for Indiana oh wow that clock is so cool that you can't even tell what time it is I would <laughs> definitely buy that it's printed on polypropylene Face made for when you order. So these are made to order clocks and they're thirty four dollars and sixteen cents. And it actually does show the eclipse on it. What are your thoughts on that, baby? Looks pretty cool. I like it. Would you buy it? No. Alright, go back. <laughs> and yeah, so they got all these places, Mexico, Brazil, um uh, uh Panama. Show that. Show that one, yeah. I like the California, yeah. Oh my god, $34.16. What does it look like when you make it blue? There's a color selector up there. Oh yeah, that's really awesome. It's California. What are your thoughts on it? Mm, I wouldn't buy it. Yeah, it's ugly. Yeah. All right, with that, go back. <laughs> oh, we're praising the Lord today. And um, I won't get the iPhone cases. Do we have any for <laughs> Indiana at all? <laughs> we just forgot to all these Texas, California, and uh, it's kind of cool though. <clears throat> Show the Colorado iPad skin. This one? Yeah. $22.22 if you want that on the back of your iPad. And if you have a case, well then too damn bad. <laughs> oh, this is a skin, but if you want the snap case, there it is. $50. Um, if we lived in Colorado, I could see it, <laughs> but I don't. Uh, what do you think about that case on the back of the iPad? No. Would it change your mind? All right, exit out of that, but don't exit out of the shop yet. I want to see if we have any. Go up to the search at the very top. It should have a search for... Start new search. Really? There's none? You can't, like, type in Indiana? No. Well, this shop do diddly sucks. <laughs> and we are done because all we are seeing is nothing for Indiana. It's horrible. Yes, so viewing blogs, um, select city by name. And we will do, keep going, we should see Indiana. Oh, there's Illinois. Indiana, up top right. Evansville, Indiana. And let's look at this. 
and click anywhere. Map of the Evansville area. And these are, if you're in the Evansville area, like Mount Caramel, Petersburg, Du Bois, Jasper County, Birdseye, Huntington, Princeton, Fort Branch, Elberfield, Linville, Evansville, Hendersonville, or Henderson, <laughs> I was making a joke, Mount Vernon, Uniontown, that's where my grandma swears she was born, Morgansfield. Um, these are all from the top left where that red line is and it gets darker. That's where you're really going to see the total eclipse. The bottom right where it's brighter, you're going to see a partial eclipse. So that's awesome. And she's showing you the time period too. Can you click on this, I wonder? I wonder. Oh, you can. And there's a map of <laughs> Richmond and vicinity, there's or this. Richland. And what do you think about that? Show them that, baby. And these are the times that's supposed to happen at 151 until 7 after 2. Dang, they're going to get it a long time. Now, totality will be around 4 to 5 minutes, but they're going to get a partial eclipse going into totality for about 11 minutes. But it says 1 minute. So I don't, I don't know about that one, but it shows you all this information, um, detailed eclipse viewing information, and we looked up that map. So exit out of that. That's where Dad is, by the way. He's in Evansville. So he's going to see it for about a minute, almost two minutes. But I think he's going to be working. And then exit out. Or do you want to show him Kentucky? If we see Kentucky somewhere. There's Tennessee. Oh, there we go. Awesome, baby. Because I know you wanted to show that earlier. And then show him a, a city to, in the red. Right here? Nope. Top left. Oh, no. There you go. You got it. Nope. You got it. Oh. Top left. And that's Crothersville, Kentucky. They give you a big map on that one. And their eclipse is going to start at 2 after 3 and last until around 8 or 9 after, it looks like. Just like Indiana. Yeah, that's crazy. So that's if you're in Kentucky in that Crothersfield area. And then exit out of that and exit out of that. And then we're going to admin and let's see do the eclipse path in the middle scroll down and there it is the path of totality again a little bit different from the two we saw earlier and it has again all the lists of cities and nations um and go down and just read let's see Oh, it gives you information about where people are going to go, how many people are going to be there, different states, and that it's going to be crowded, chairs, filters, telescopes, TV monitors, webcast equipment, which is what we're doing. We are live streaming it on like three or four different things. Please show up, subscribe, like, share, comment, follow her on TikTok because she will be live streaming on TikTok as well as YouTube right here. And then April 8th, we're going to read that little paragraph. Scroll down. It's at the bottom. All right, um, I will read the top paragraph, and you read the bottom one. So, April 8th, 2024, Eclipse Day. No human action can disrupt the incessant dance of the cosmos, and the moon's shadow will not wait on you if you're not ready. Like a mindless juggernaut, it plows its way through space toward a collision course with Earth, and, as predicted by astronomers decades in advance, the shadow arrives with perfect accuracy and touches down in the South Pacific Ocean at 16.38.44 UT at local sunrise. This point is just north of Penryn Atoll in the Cook Islands, I should know that from Metal Gear Solid, where residents of Omoka and Te Tatua villages will witness a beautiful crescent sunrise. The eclipse at the atoll will feature over 98% coverage of the sun's disk, but sadly it will not be total. A minute after it touches down, the entire shadow of the umbral cone will have made landfall, er, ocean fall, and will be racing across the surface of the water at supersonic speed, except for folks on ships at sea and the occasional ocean-dwelling critter who dares to venture too near to surface. Nothing sentient will note the passing of the Umbra as it sweeps across the water. Totality first touches the equator at 16.53.19 UT, but there is still almost an hour to go before the first landfall. <laughs> and you read what's under that at the end at first land, the Isla Sakaro, and just read from here. 
which gets more than 3M of totality just before 1252, 1752. Can I restart that? No, just go. Oh. You're good. Not quite four, 400 miles off the coast of Mexico. If you want to try viewing from here, though, you might have a difficult time. There's no public airport, but you may be able to get here by tacking along on a long-range diving ship. Good stuff. And then we're going to show you that. Read that, baby. Just the glasses part. What happened in 2017? This part? Yep. Just read that title. What happened in 2017? What happened in 2017? Why were so many people disappointed with the glasses they bought? Certified Eclipse glasses available now. Made in USA, USA made, ISO certified Eclipse glasses. And they are the Eclipse Glasses Award, meets the ISO standard, AAS, in stock, best price, best quality, USA made, not imported, sure, no one believes that, NSA, uh, NASA, NASA, I know, featured simulator, meets the standard. And it said, this one paragraph, I'll read the big one, you read this little one right here. During the crazy run-up to the total eclipse in 2017, a very fortunate, unfortunate, situation took place that put a damper on the experience for a whole lot of people, parents, teachers, and many others who had taken on the responsibility of buying Eclipse glasses for their kids, students, friends, and neighbors, had their trust betrayed at the proverbial last minute by a situation that ended up leaving some of them high and dry on Eclipse Day, just like many virgins, many people who had trusted them were let down, and for some, their hopes of a good Eclipse experience were also let down. To be sure, Wonderful organizations like libraries, schools, astronomy clubs, national science organizations, and even us at Eclipse2017.org, who had all done their best to make sure that everybody who wanted certified Eclipse glasses would have them, had their best efforts somewhat minimized by what happened as the Eclipse approached. What was it that caused all the confusing, frustration, and disappointed uncertified Eclipse glasses? That's right. Many people who had bought Eclipse glasses for use on Eclipse Day, including teachers who had <clears throat> purchased them with hard-worn funds from their school's budget, from our taxes, from my taxes, found out too late that they would not be able to use their glasses because of an inability to ensure that the glasses had been made under the strict conditions mandated by the ISO standard for safety. Many students ended up up disappointed no little Johnny and the entire Eclipse community suffered undeserved fallout from something as simple as people buying their glasses from outlets they trusted but which turned out not to have stock glasses from trusted sources after all and that is our uh, sped through and Minimally compiled read-through of Eclipse2024.org. It is from this pamphlet that we got at the Greenwood Library. And, um, yes, uh, if you want to see more, you can get this pamphlet. We're going to watch the video, and we scan it. You can read through the pamphlet, and then it will include the backlist of websites, such as the one we're reading from right now. And um, I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are. Out.